Born in Salt Lake City, Peter Fox moved to his grandparents' home in Lake Delton, Wisconsin, as a child. He moved frequently across northern Wisconsin and, later, to his grandparents' new home in Florida. It was his grandmother, Charlotte Fox, who instilled in him a love of reading and writing, which led to an affinity for newspapers. Fox left home in the middle of his junior year in high school and, in 1966, graduated from Wisconsin Dells High School, where he was on the staff of yearbook and the student newspaper. That fall, he headed to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but, after 10 weeks, had to drop out because of poor grades. So, Fox joined the Army and was selected for an intensive Russian language training program with the Army Security Agency. Those who flunked out of language school were often transferred to infantry service in Vietnam, a fact that provided Fox with the incentive he needed to brush up on his study skills. After completing his training, he arrived in Chateau's Japan, on the northernmost island of Hokkaido. Here, he and other linguists intercepted communications and transcribed them for higher-level intelligence agencies. While in Chateau's, Fox resolved to return to UW-Madison and began taking college courses with the University of Maryland Far East Division. When his hitch was up, he was readmitted to UW as a second-semester sophomore. After realizing his career goal during an intro to mass communications class, Fox joined the Daily Cardinal and landed a part-time job at his hometown newspaper, the Wisconsin Dells Events. He also wrote for the UW College of Engineering magazine. In 1973, journalism professor Scott Cutlip helped Fox get a copy editing gig at the Wisconsin State Journal. It turned into a full-time job, and Fox would eventually be named the newspaper's assistant city editor. With eight years at the State Journal and his bachelor's and master's degrees in journalism under his belt, Fox was hired as city editor of Montana's Billings Gazette in 1981. He held the role for four years, before returning to Wisconsin to serve as editor of the Journal Times in Racine, where he focused on building readership, circulation, and economic development in the county. A desire to be nearer to Madison and his younger daughter, Katie, who was entering high school, prompted Fox to accept a position as director of public information for the University of Wisconsin system. After a stint serving as chairman of Wisconsin's three-day sesquicentennial celebration, Governor Tommy Thompson invited Fox to his office. He told him he was looking for someone who could communicate and work on the state's labor relations. Thompson appointed Fox Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Employment, making him the chief negotiator for 19 state government labor agreements. It was here he met his future wife, Nikki. Meanwhile, Fox joined the Army National Guard as a prior service sergeant in Dave Zwiefel's Public Affairs Unit, achieving the rank of colonel. After five years with DER, Fox was named Executive Director of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. During his tenure, the association made significant strides in membership participation and services. Fox acted as a leading advocate for open records and meetings and helped pass the state's Whistleblower Protection Act. He also launched Wisconsin's free public notice website and digital newspaper archive, helping secure a more solid foundation and future for the industry. In May of 2010, Fox retired from the WNA and returned to Montana, where he served as executive director of the Park County Community Foundation until 2018 and as advisor of Montana State University's student newspaper, The Exponent, until 2019. He and his wife purchased a home where the prairie meets the mountains, and they can saddle up from their property and ride the open fields whenever they want.